Programs such as Kindy Roo can give your child a huge difference in terms of social, sporting and academic achievements. And a lot of that success is based on the teachers and facilitators of the program. Today I've got with me leading consultant Marianne Shriver, who's going to talk to us about how she got involved in the program. Thank you so much for being here. That's a pleasure. I've been in education for 50 years. This indicates that I'm very passionate about it. I learnt about how to detect retained primitive reflexes and how they interfere with brain development. And then last of all, I gained the knowledge to use specific techniques that help children to overcome any retained reflexes. Tell us about the skills needed to be a consultant within the program. There are many skills that are required to become a consultant. The most important one is probably gathering as much knowledge and understanding about brain development and how the brain functions as well as knowing what the role is of the primitive reflexes in child development, the importance of sensory motor integration leading to perception. All these are the foundations for learning and for behavior. As a consultant, we need to be particularly skilled at detecting the very just noticeable differences in children who are brought to the consultancy so that we can ascertain whether they're going to be at risk of having any further social, emotional, physical or academic problems. And also what's required is some very detailed and careful observation of the children that we cannot test because of their age and then also use those skills to actually analyse the test results so that we can see what kind of implications these brain immaturities will have wow. for the child. It's all quite complex, isn't it? Now, what type of concerns do parents come to you with? Oh, they come with all kinds of concerns. For example, the babies are brought along because of developmental delay, which means that these babies, even though they may be 10 months and older, haven't as yet learned to roll, they haven't been able to sit themselves up or do any tummy crawling. So it gives us an opportunity to teach the parents specific developmental movements that they can pattern into the baby's brains and do these at home at very short spurts throughout the day and within a very short period of time, all those babies are mobile. So the parents can help their children as well at home, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. Do you have a particular case study that you're quite proud of that you've worked with? Yes, not only do I see children on a one-to-one -one basis here in Melbourne, but I also Skype with children around the world. And this particular one was in Malta, where the child had an extreme overload of sensitivity. It was so extreme that she could barely leave the home and also missed a lot of school, therefore her language development was way behind. She had no reading and writing at all. So with a very devoted mother, and us Skyping very regularly, she was able to implement the program on a daily basis. And so the child was able to overcome those very severe sensory issues. She was able to learn to speak properly. She was able to read and write, complete her primary school, and now she's completed her secondary school as well. So that's an amazing achievement. It's an achievement. amazing outcome and a fabulous result, obviously given by you, and you must be so proud of that achievement. Well, as you can see, and as you've explained to us, this program is absolutely phenomenal. And if anyone out there listening has a child with a learning difficulty or anything like that, they know where now to come. Thank you so much, Marianne. That's a pleasure.